Hey everyone, my name is Caleb with Steve Landers Toyota in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're gonna take a look at a 2019 Forerunner Nightshade. The Nightshade adds on to the Limited model with this gloss black exterior trim. Every Forerunner has a different front fascia, but you can see with the Nightshade, it adds the blackout front Toyota emblem with the blackout chrome bar on the front and the black lower front fascia. This model also includes the front sonar sensors. Coming around here at Steve Landers Toyota, we also added a black pinstripe, which sets the vehicle off. The nightshade also comes with gloss black mirror caps, gloss black door handles, and these 20 inch gloss black wheels with the black body side rocker molding. Coming along the vehicle, you see that there is blackout limited badging right there. And coming to the rear, the same blackout badging that's special for the nightshade. Black chrome exhaust tip and black lower fascia that runs around the entire vehicle. Rear parking sensors as well. A great feature of the 4Runner, as well as some other Toyota models like the Tundra, is the automatic rear window. So you can come up here and just press this lower arrow right there. And as long as you have the smart key in your pocket, it lowers the window. You can load stuff into the trunk and then hit the button and the window will automatically roll back up. The Nightshade 4Runner also gives you these blackout roof rails with optional crossbars that you can get on the 4Runner to give you a little bit more usability. And then you see that gloss black line that goes along the bottom of the vehicle. It really looks great. This 4Runner is equipped with Toyota's optional remote start on the smart key access key fob. The instructions are printed here once you buy, but all you have to do is press the lock button twice and then hold and it'll start the vehicle. The 4Runner Nightshade also includes the optional automatic deploying running boards. So all you have to do is whenever they're activated is come in and grab the door handle and the automatic deploying boards will just come right out whether you open the front or the rear doors. And here's the control to turn those on and off if you don't want those to come out at you. The inside of the 4Runner Nightshade is pretty similar if you've ever been around a limited 4Runner. The Nightshade kind of builds off the limited trim. This one has the dark graphite leather seats with white color contrast stitching, powered seats, as well as memory. Stepping inside, it has Toyota's smart key system, so all you gotta do is put your foot on the brake. The button will turn green to indicate you can start it, and you press the button. The Nightshade trim level distinguishes itself in the aesthetics of the interior, and so you can see in the center stack it is gloss black with a little bit of a metallic finish, and that same gloss black finish carries over to the steering wheel and on the doors. You can see the center stack is very similar to a Limited with Nav, Entune, all the new Bluetooth streaming, iPod hookups, everything like that dual zone climate control as well as heated and ventilated front seats. The four wheel drive controller, five speed automatic transmission with unique nightshade finisher on the gear knob as well as a backup camera with the front and rear parking sonars that I mentioned earlier. The controls up top on the Forerunner Nightshade are pretty standard as well. You have the auto dimming rear view mirror, sunglass storage, traction control off as well as your four wheel drive controls, garage door home link, Toyota SOS Safety Connect, and the automatic sunroof. This 4Runner Nightshade also has the optional third row seat for a seven passenger configuration. To get to the third row, all you gotta do is grab this handle right here, and the second row will tip up and go forward, and you have access to your third row right there. And to fold down this third row, it's a two-step process. All you have to do is grab this handle right here and the seat will lower in. Once that seat is lowered, just come back here, fold down the headrest and flip this lever right there and your third row will fold flat. The third row is also a 50-50 split configuration so you're able to have one seat down and one seat up if you'd like. <laughs> 